about a month to turn up because they are all the way in America because I couldn't find any fucking ones in England anywhere. And when they turned up, I thought, happy days, I now have a working motorbike and it still didn't work. And I was really fucking confused. <laughs> so I sent it away to me. Ah, let's get ourselves home. How's it going, everybody? A Pilgrim here. Welcome back to another vlog of the week. This time I am, in fact, on Toby the Teapot. Now, you might be thinking, why is the mic quality so shit? And that's because of my helmet, believe it or not. Uh, my helmet lets air in. Uh, I think you're actually in the airway at the moment for some reason. Uh, because at one stage I had a stone come up and uh, hit the um, oh, control for the front of the visor. And yeah, it broke it. Surprise, surprise. So yeah, sorry about that. Oh, that feels good though. Yeah, so I'm uh, on my way home from work at the moment, so... Oh, that feels good. Just warming the engine up a little bit, you know? So yeah. And I wanted to talk about my motorbike experience, okay? Now you might be thinking, Michael, we don't want to hear about that. You don't talk about motorbikes on your motor vlogs. What are you on about? Well, my motorbike experience started off when I was 16. I'm now 21. Okay, so I've been doing, I've been riding a bike for about five years. Wow, that makes me feel old. Um, <laughs> I started off with a little Lexmoto 50cc uh, Scout. It was a Pulse Scout originally called, because it's before Lexamoto took them over. And I bought it from a good friend of mine, uh, brand new. The, the friend of mine runs the garage, so. And my bike worked absolutely brilliantly, okay? Now, I used to filter, I used to overtake, I was quite aggressive on it, to be honest. And then one day, I got my world turned up, turned upside down with a near-death experience. Being that if something was on the other side of the road at that time, I probably wouldn't be here to, to uh, tell you about it. Okay, I was filtering, and I didn't realise there was a junction at one of the places. Well, I say that, I, I knew that there was a junction there, but I thought I was travelling next to, st um, oh, still traffic. And as I came to this junction, a car pulled out, not looking, and took me off the bike. I landed the other side of the road, uh, spread out, and I was just like, fuck. Uh, the first thing I did is I crawled and turned my bike off because it was still running. And I thought, happy days, get that sorted, you know. Stand it up, and my brain, my brain was going through like four things at the time. It was like, shit, I've got to get to college still uh, my brain also thought maybe I could use it as a scooter because the seat was completely gone on it but my brain was my brain was in like shock and it was just like I need to get to college I need to get this bike working I do not really want to lose this bike you know because walking is not something I enjoy doing funny enough <laughs> so I picked the bike up I put it on the side and I started picking up pieces. The ambulance was called. That was fun. Uh, yeah, but it pretty much turned me off of filtering. I don't... If you watch any of the other vlogs, I'll always sit behind a car. I won't, like, overtake them unnecessarily or anything like that, you know? Like, there's no point to it. Like, for example, I could overtake this Mini to be first in front of that Honda. Behind that Honda, you know? There's no point, the Mini turned off anyway, you see? However, I will squeeze in behind here. You know? And because of this kind of stuff, you know, I... It's shaped the way I ride, you know? Like, I don't actually filter near enough at all anymore. Like, uh, to be honest, I wasn't that good at filtering between cars anyway. I never really liked the idea of it. But I just don't do it at all. At, at all? At, at all. 
because it's just easier not to, you know. There's less hassle. You see that half the people that get yelled at or pushed off their bike are always filtering, right? I can't be asked with the stress it causes. Everyone around, like, the area I live seems to know that you can filter on a motorbike. Like, we've got quite a strong motorbike community around, you know? Um, no, oh, come on. If you go this slowly, I will actually overtake them, though. Come on, it's 60 now, good 60, please. No, okay, anyway. Yeah, so, uh, pretty much on, um, oh, on my motorbike. Yeah, then I got another Pulse Scout that I bought off my sister, because we both got a Pulse Scout at the same time. I bought her one off her because obviously I was trying to get back into it, trying to get back on the bike. I hadn't ever done gears, so I thought, well, probably best to go back to an automatic. So I'm clearly not good at focusing on like two things at once. And I got back, I got back on it, and it was, it wasn't the best experience I've had. Like this was a very boring, boring time, you know. We're going to pass this one as well. Yeah, it was a very boring experience in general. Oh fuck, why, 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 I hate this stuff. Ah, you fucking farmers! Meh! Nee, nee! I am the man who says nee! Yes, anyway, um... So, yeah, so I started off, I then went over to my sister's Pulse Scout. That one was incredibly slow compared to my other one for some reason, don't know why, just how they're made I guess. So if there's a little bit of whistling, I can't really control it, I just ran, what did I just hit? A little bit of a bump, hopefully it's not going to fuck over the recording. Yeah, so anyway, uh. Before we continue, quick shout out to Jack Rooney. Uh, Jack Rooney is normally part of my um, oh Rainbow Six Siege videos. You'll catch him on most of my content. Uh, if you want to check him out, he occasionally uploads. He's actually good at Siege, so you won't get like snap cuts of him doing shit, uh, just saying horrible things because he's actually good at Siege. So his compilations normally consist of him doing well rather than my compilations of me sucking ass but making a laugh, you know? So yeah. Uh, go check him out, he occasionally uploads stuff like that. Anyway, back to it. Uh, so I then went on to a 125cc, or the bummer is what I like to call it. It was a classic calf racing style bike. And it has to be one of my favourites, to be honest. Yeah, the camera is still attached, that's good. It's a bit windy, not going to lie, even I can hear it a little bit. I, I do have to get a new helmet at some point, you guys probably can't hear too much of what I'm saying. But yeah. Hopefully if everything plans out correctly. Um, we should be all good. Nod. Always do bike, always nod, always nod. It doesn't matter who it is, unless they're push bikes, nod, okay? I don't know, two wheels you nod for. Okay, scooter, motorbike, bike, dirt bike, quad, I guess you, I, I, I nod to quad bikes as well. If they got a helmet on, a full face helmet, you nod. Fuck, fuck your push bikes, okay? Uh, yes, I nod to the Vespa riders as well, Jesus Christ. Although I hate them. Vespas are the BMWs of the motorcycle world. Anyway, yeah, so then I went to Bomber. Bomber I had for a good three years. Okay. I just got him MOT'd when I decided to sell him. I didn't think I would get anyone pick up on him as quickly as they did. 
because it's literally like, oh yeah, throw him in for an MOT, and if anyone wants him, uh, feel free to send him to it, to him. And uh, yeah, he came back and it's just like, oh yeah, well, I've got two people that want to buy it from you. I'm just like, oh, that's good. <laughs> I wasn't quite expecting that to happen just after an MOT, but you know, it happens. So, and then of course I got Tony here, Tony the teapot, and it's uh, really coincidental that the British man went out and bought a motorbike at random and managed to find the one that is literally nicknamed the teapot. I did no research into this bike before buying it. I had no idea what kind of problems they have or anything like that. All I know is it's Suzuki and they use the same engine as the Bandit so therefore it's got a bomb proof engine. And I thought happy days a bomb proof engine is something that I need. You know? Because I really don't want my engine breaking down because that's really inconvenient. And the last thing I really need is an engine blowing up. So yeah, so I got this thing. And then all of a sudden I realised it was called Teapot. And I was just like, ah, joyous. <laughs> now I have to think of something that begins with T to name it. And I thought, Tony the Teapot is good. You know, just like, I think it's Tony the Tiger for frosty cereal. You know, if it's not a tiger, it's, it's a teapot. You know. In fact, I'm surprised if they probably didn't sell that at one stage when he was running, you know. Get Tony the teapot. Get Tony the tiger's tea cozies. Mm, yes. They probably never existed. They used to do like spoons and bowls and stuff. But that's not the point. Any fair? Ooh. Was that rain? Rain, rain, please go away. I do not want to see you today. Head down here slowly. Slower. Why are there so many cars in front? We don't want to see them. Go away, cars. I like this corner. Go away. Go. Go. Be gone. Let's go. We're going to meet them halfway around it, aren't we? No, we're not. We're going to meet them on the s -Ven. Uh, hello there, little vehicle. I can't actually see what that is. Uh, yeah, anyway. So, I, obviously I now have this thing, and this thing is amazing when it's working, okay? It spent the last four months in repairs, and I'm pretty sure it's still losing a little bit of oil somewhere. And I've got to try and figure out where from. Because if I can't figure out if it's for externally, then it's internally, and that is problematic as fuck. But hopefully it's just a little bit of external oil or something. Something I can control, tighten up a couple of bolts or whatever. A little bit of grease here and there to support it where it needs to be. Uh, it's an old bike, I expect it to have a few problems. It is misfiring a little bit on probably the fourth cylinder still. But it does do over uh, uh, it does do the speed limit, so I don't really need to care about anything else, you know. Unlike right now, where we're doing 50 and a 60, damn it! Go, peasants, go! Whee! Yeah. So, I check out Jack. Uh, that's pretty much how my motorbikes have gone. And I'll catch you in the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell notification. Peace!